Number seven in the 88 films Asia range is Killer Constable. Another movie that I just threw on in a whim because I, I really am uh, indulging myself and loving this series of movies. And uh, this one is a lot of swordplay and a lot of fantastical, really memorable fight scenes in this one, as well as having a nice little mystery at the heart of it. Initially, there is a lot of gold that has been stolen from the Empress or Queen or some other kind of deity in some way, shape or form, and she wants that money back. And her kind of weaselly second-in-command confidant enlists the help of the colour constable. So called that way because he pretty much kills everyone he comes in contact with. He's the kind of person that asks questions and then will kill you anyway just because it's his nature. He is tenacious, he is forthright and he is extremely adept with his weapon of choice. And we have this man trying to track down the mystery. Who stole the gold? Why did they steal it? And how can he brutally murder them? And Although the story is really kind of interesting, it's not the thing that kept me hooked with this movie. What really kept me hooked was the unbelievably set up of the fight scenes, which are beautifully constructed and elegantly designed. I just, I thought they were uh, terrific. There is a fight scene that is done um, on a, a sundial, a giant sundial, which is just stunning. It's the, the idea, the fights are really well choreographed. But a lot of where they're staged is just beautiful, uh, idyllic settings that are unusual but extremely apt. I mean, they're fighting on a sundial when one of their times is literally running out to give the evidence or the information. There is a wonderful fight done at the water, uh, which is really tremendous. Um, there is a giant fight just in a field with flames and all these hidden forces, uh, and it's really elegantly done. There is a unbelievably amazing series of fights in the finale of this that are set during a rainstorm in the mud that is just wonderfully set up and designed. I, 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 the mind boggles at how artistically uh, apt this movie is at setting up these wonderful fight scenes that are going to influence countless movies from this time onwards. The fight scene in the rain is, is wonderful. It has this driving rain, this gritty brown mud that's just everywhere. People are losing their footing, trying to uh, wield these huge swords and, and fight against each other. There is a terrific scene at the end where um, our hero's trying to get to the bad guy and is constantly being held back by uh, limitless forces, it seems. And the fights are just elongated and passionate uh, and there's lots going on the choreography on it is really meticulous in this one and it's a movie where the story's good and the story's the kind of driving force behind going to A, B and C and things like that but it's the fight scenes that were just simply stunning it was the characters that were with the killer constable, the people who wanted to help him on his mission, how he keeps losing everyone that's by his side, not by any fault of his own, but because they're in these situations that have been put upon them by the mysterious evil force in the movie. Killer Constable was just delightful to see the amazing uh, choreography in these wonderful settings, it was absolutely jaw dropping. And it's one of those movies I was expecting um, something similar to the, the five uh, Deadly Venom characters fighting, jumping through the air, doing fantastical stuff and really bright costumes, but I didn't get that. I got a more kind of gritty, realistic, artistic take on this swordplay movie. Utterly fantastic. Another winner from the 88 Asia range that I'm really excited uh, about. Uh, I can't wait to delve into the next one on this series. I'd love to know your thoughts on Killer Constable. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.